The firestorm erupting over the new documentary about Michael Jackson. Two men coming forward with allegations, what they say happened repeatedly at Neverland, and how the Jackson family is now responding tonight. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis now. Nearly a decade after his death, renewed debate and scrutiny tonight in the wake of the explosive HBO documentary Leaving Neverland, where two men claim they were sexually abused by Michael Jackson for years, starting when they were just seven and ten years old. Once the abuse started, then within that first week, you know, every night that I was with him, there was abuse. In death, as in life, Michael Jackson still dogged by allegations of sexual abuse, this time by two men who once testified on his behalf, saying that he never molested or touched them inappropriately. Jackson was acquitted in 2005 of child molestation charges of another child. Michael told me that I had to lie, and that's what I did. I lied. James Safechuck, now 41, says he first met Jackson while shooting this soda commercial. And choreographer Wade Robson, who's now 36, says that he met him after winning a dance competition. Both detail quite explicitly what they say happened behind closed doors. At the same time, the sexual relationship is growing. He's working on pushing you away from your parents, or pushing you away from everybody else. Both men describe being groomed by Jackson, sometimes spending as many as six hours at a time on the phone with him. I was really into jewelry and he would reward me with jewelry for doing sexual acts for him. After Jackson died, they sued his estate. The lawsuits were dismissed for being filed too late. They're appealing. For those who question why both men stayed silent for so long, they told Oprah Winfrey becoming fathers themselves helped them confront the alleged abuse. Can you explain to people why you want to continue the association if you have been abused? I had no understanding of it being abuse. You know, I loved Michael. Anything that Michael did was right to me for so many years. The Michael Jackson estate is now suing HBO for $100 million, claiming the documentary violates a non-disparagement agreement HBO had with Jackson. The lawsuit calls the documentary a one-sided marathon of unvetted propaganda to shamelessly exploit an innocent man. And Lindsay Davis with us now on set. And Lindsay, we know the Jackson family is actually responding to the documentary now. Yes, the Jackson family has released a statement which says, in part, Michael Jackson was and always will be 100% innocent of these false allegations. David. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.